We have a very popular video on YouTube that shows 10 creative tricks with a camera slider and had so many positive reactions we just had to make a couple more. What's up folks, it's Jordi here for Stendicom.net and those who've already seen our first slider tricks video know how much I love to work with this setup. A short slider that sits on a single but sturdy video tripod with a fluid head. On top of the slider we have a photo head because it also has the ability to tilt lateral so that we can make angled movements. A bowl head would also work here but it's usually not so sturdy as a photo head. This setup allows me to make so many different movements so let's get into them. The first trick is what I call the checking out the stars. Usually you want to put your slider on the ground and move your photo head in a 90 degree angle. I have to flip my camera plate as well as I'm actually mounting the camera the other way around. Now put your slider next to an object. This could be a building, a table, anything. Just make sure that the sky or the ceiling is also visually interesting. Here's a shot we did for a client that was focused on the interior. For the next trick we'll put the slider again on the tripod. We would like to make a zoom in with a wide angle lens. The problem that occurs now is that we see the slider as well. To keep your wide angle shots you can tilt a bit up until you don't see the slider anymore. Then tilt down the tripod to put the slider in an angle and make sure you've got your subject in a correct frame. You're looking down on your subject now so that's something to be aware of. But it's one solution to hide your slider in a wide angle shot. The next trick is something that I also did in my 5 mini crane tricks video. Here's a scene of two enemies, they challenge each other for a fight by giving nasty expressions. It's pretty cool to cut to a point of view shot of one of the actors. For that you want to bring the height of your tripod to the eye level of your actor you're going to make a point of view shot from. Then position your camera on the end of the slider and pan it to the inside. You might want to adjust the tilt of your video tripod or the photo head for a good shot. Then let your actor push the slider in a circle and make him look into the lens. The fourth trick. We're going to do a slide in or slide out but with an extra effect to it. You can either choose to place your slider right in front of an object or a little on the side. Then unlock your tripod tilt and while you slide back and forward you also tilt it so that your camera makes an arc movement. This is interesting as you can reveal something in two ways. You're tilting over an object and you're going from a close up to a wider shot. The same technique also works great when doing a slide through a door. And then the last trick for this video, we're going to slide very close to the ground. You basically want to take your slider from your tripod and find two heights where you can put your slider on, upside down. It might not be that big of a deal but the results are. A slide so close to the ground is not something that you would see so often, which makes it pretty unique. Definitely if you have something interesting on the ground, you can put your focus on it like in this example. All the products that were used in this video are listed in the description below and if you would like to see a review of the slider that we were using then you can click in the video at my upper left and for 10 more slider tricks you can click on the video below that one. Thank you so much for watching again and as always stay creative.